Hello everyone! How are you today? I'm your teacher, Jem Ryman, and today I will present to you my detailed lesson plan in Science 6 in preparation for my classroom observation for quarter 3. This is all about manipulating second class lever to describe its characteristics and uses. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel! My name is Mr. Jem Raimonis Chen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. Now, by the way, in this channel, I am uploading education-related videos such as PPST or PMS, video lessons, and lesson plans in Science 6 and Mathematics 6. If you like these contents, Please hit the like and subscribe button below and pakishare na lang po mga teachers sa iba para marami po tayong matulungan. Salamat po! Before we proceed in lesson planning, we have to visit first our most essential learning competencies or MELCs. And for my case, this is the most essential learning competencies for Science 6. This is the MELC that I will use for my first classroom observation, the last MELC for quarter 3 in Science 6. As you notice, this MELC is intended for 2 weeks. That's why we need to unpack it to be attainable since we are only given 50 minutes to meet our instructional objective for the day. Ganito ko siya ginawa, teacher. Sample lang po ito how I budget the unpack competencies I shown to you earlier. So each day, I only focus on one type of simple machine. For example, for week 6, day 1, I only focus for inclined plane, then day 2 for wedge, and day 3 for the screw. But before I proceed to the next type of simple machine, I conducted first a summative test. Why? These three competencies, unpack competencies, are somewhat related to each other. Next, after that, in day 5, I focus on the wheel and axle. Next, on week 7, I only focus in manipulating fixed pulley. Day 2 of week 7, I focus on movable pulley. For day 3 in week 7, I focus on compound pulley. And after that, since yung wheel and axle at saka yung pulley are somewhat related to each other, then I conducted summative test for this part of my lesson. Next, day 5 of week 7, I focus on manipulating first class lever. And for day 1, week 8, focus naman tayo sa second class lever. And this is the competency that I will use for my classroom observation. Actually, umabot na nga ito ng week 9 mga teachers sa pag-distribute ko ng unpack learning competency dahil sa mga araw na walang pasok, no? dahil nga yon sa mga declared uh, special non-working holiday. So, nevertheless, this is how I unpack the last milk in Science 6 for quarter 3. So, buti na lang din na may extra weeks na binigay in every quarter for this school year. So, if you can still remember, more or less, we are given 10 weeks every quarter for this school year to attain all the most essential learning competencies in every grading period. So, kaya kahit maraming holidays, nakook up ko pa din po ang required competencies for this grading period. Again, this is the objective I will use for my classroom observation. Of course, after this competency, may kasunod pa po ito. We have manipulating third class lever to describe its characteristics and uses. This is the instructional objective for my first classroom observation, which is about manipulating second class lever to describe its characteristics and uses. As you notice, the content and the topic is about simple machine, particularly the second class lever, and the learning resources I utilize for this topic are also shown here. For example, the teacher's guide, the textbooks I use, and the module which I took in the LRMDS portal. Module about the characteristics and uses of simple machine. And I also utilize um, some YouTube videos. And ito po yung mga link na nakikita nyo ngayon sa screen. Gagamitin ko po ang format ng ating DLL. By so doing, I will also employ the 7E strategies in planning my lesson. So I have here, elicit, engage, explore, explain, elaborate, evaluate, and extend. First period po ng umaga ang napili kong mag-demonstrate and that's 7.30 to 8.20 in the morning. So of course, I will start the class with a prayer. 
may mga representative na po per group naman ang naka-assign to lead our prayer every day. Then, I will check the attendance after the prayer. As I usually do, I always give gold coins as their points earned kapag perfect attendance po per group. So, kukolektahin po nila yung mga naipo nila mga gold coins every grading period at kung sino yung pinakamaraming gold na nakolekta in every grading, siya po ang mananalo. And I will give special prizes for that. Then, after checking of the attendance, we will start the lesson with an opening song entitled Simple Machine. So actually, kabisado na po ng mga bata yung song na yan kasi araw-araw ko po yan pinapakanta sa kanila. I will use my advisory class in my classroom observation at hindi po star class section yung advisory ko. Heterogeneous type po yung sectioning namin sa school. So kaya may advanced and average level kami ng mga isudyante per classroom. So kaya I need also to consider their level in planning the activities in my lesson. So as part of my review, I will allow them to choose name and manipulate the tools inside the toolbox, then ask them to describe the tools, characteristics, and uses. All tools inside the box are first class lever. So, ito po yung illicit part ng aking lesson. This is now the engaged part of my lesson, and I use this activity as my springboard in my new lesson. So, I will set up a lever as shown here. It is pre-arranged to save time, but I will ask the learners to describe the setup uh, they see. And itatanong ko din sa kanila kung paano makakatulong yung setup na to sa pag-angat ng isang mabigat na bagay. So I will ask somebody from the class to manipulate the material shown. And I will guide the learner to lift the object in the different location of the meter stick by the use of spring balance, such as near the effort, exactly at the center of the meter stick and near the fixed point or fulcrum. Now then, I will ask the learner if how the placement of the object affects the amount of force required to lift the heavy object. By so doing the activity, the learner can conclude that the nearer the object to the fulcrum, the less effort is exerted to lift it. Then I will ask another learner to show in the class the location of the effort, fulcrum, and the load. Then guide them that the setup is an example of a second class lever where the load is found between the fulcrum and the effort. Now we'll have the explore part of the lesson. I will provide the class with group activity. My groupings naman na po kami na organize since the start of the school year. Six groups po lahat yan. My leader na po, assistant leader and secretary na na assign since nagsimula yung klase namin noong nakaraang taon. So, I will give them 10 minutes to 15 minutes to finish the activity. But the first to finish will be given 50 points or 6 gold coins. In this way, maging aware po yung mga isodyante ko na matapos yung activity earlier as scheduled time. There are 6 activities that I will provide. They will manipulate the 6 examples of second class lever. Some groups will be going outside the classroom to do the activity. After manipulating all the materials and tools, they will fill up the chart in which they will write the characteristics and uses of the second class lever assigned to them. After doing it, I will give them time to present their work before the class. This is now the explained part of my lesson where I will discuss the important concepts and of course, I will use the activities that the learners have done earlier. In this way, they can easily relate in the lesson. In this part of the lesson, I may ask somebody to manipulate again the mentioned material so that all have the chance to see its characteristics and uses. I will also let them locate in the tools the fulcrum, the load, and the effort parts. Since they were done manipulating the tools, for sure, they will be able to describe its characteristics and uses. I will not be the one to feed them with the characteristics and uses of each tool. But they should be the ones to give the characteristics of the tools and their uses based on how they manipulated it. On this part also, I will guide them to conclude that all materials they manipulated were examples of second class lever. In this part, I will ask them to tell the class the uses of each tool they manipulated earlier such as the use of bottle cap opener, wheelbarrow, paper cutter, hole puncher, and nutcracker. 
Now, for elaborate part of my lesson, I will lead them to other example of a second class lever, the truly bag. But before that, I will ask them first about what they did during their holiday vacation last week. I will ask them if they like traveling places and if they are given the chance to have an all expense paid trip, what places will they visit in the Philippines and, of course, in the world. I will also show the Philippine and world map, then allow them to locate the places they would like to visit. And after that, I will lead them to the use of luggage bag or truly bag as one of the important tool to bring in traveling. I will let them manipulate the truly bag first, then ask its characteristics and uses. And for them to easily do that, I will ask somebody to locate the fulcrum, the load, the effort parts of the bag. Then I will ask them why the truly bag can be considered as an example of a second class lever. As part of the application of concepts to real life, I will provide learners with a scenario which they can relate at home. And this is the scenario that I will give to them. Sila ay kasama sa paghanda ng isang vegetable garden kasama ang kanilang pamilya. Ngayon, mayroong isang malaking pile ng compost o pataba na kailangang ilipat mula sa isang dulo ng garden papunta sa kabilang dulo para magbigay ng pataba sa lupa. Kaso, masyadong mabigat ito para dalhin gamit ang mga bakit o balde. Paano kaya nila gagawing mas madali at mapabilis yung kanilang gawain? I will give also time to the learners to brainstorm what will they do to solve this problem. Now, this problem can promote critical thinking skills by challenging the learners to analyze the situation, evaluate options, Make decisions, think creatively and collaboratively as a team to find an efficient solution to transport the heavy compost. This is the generalization part of the lesson as much as possible. Learners can now give these important concepts of the lesson by themselves. This is the evaluate part of the lesson. This assessment can develop the critical thinking skills of learners by requiring them to analyze and evaluate the given options in order to get the correct answer. It can also promote their ability to differentiate, classify, and of course describe relevant information based on their prior knowledge and understanding of the topic. Regarding the lesson objective, this assessment is aligned with it as it asks questions related to characteristics of second class lever and its uses. And of course, uh, learners are given time to manipulate the tools mentioned in the assessment since all the tools mentioned in it are available in the classroom. That's all my dear teachers and I hope you have gained something on my lesson plan for my classroom observation and hope nakatulong ito sa pagpaplano nyo din ng yung lesson for your classroom observation. If you find this video interesting, please hit the like and subscribe button below and share na lang po sa iba para mas marami pa po tayong matulungan. Again, thank you so much for supporting my channel and till next time, keep safe everyone!